Christians are in a minority now in England and Wales. The latest census data shows that 46.2% of people call themselves Christian. And that, by the way, is down uh, from what was 59.3% a decade ago. Um, are you a Christian? I am, yeah. I go to church uh, regularly. And while it's obviously sad that fewer people identify as Christians, I just have to create you on one small point, which is not Christianity is not in a minority. It's still the largest group. There are more Christians than self-described atheists. It's simply that the number of people who call themselves Christian um, has dipped below 50% for the first time. What I'd say briefly is two things. First of all, the Archbishop of York put out a very sensible statement saying, perhaps it's not a surprise, but it lays down a challenge for the Christian community in Britain, which I think is a really positive way of looking at it. And the other thing I'd say much more broadly, Britain is a very open, liberal, diverse society, uh, but many of our institutions do stem from the church. It's not just churches themselves and community groups, but also much of schooling has Christian foundations. And going back, you know, 800 or 1,000 years, um, hospitals were first set up in Britain by a Christian community. And today it's groups from all religions that run and operate food banks to benefit their community. So I'm not just a Christian who would defend the role of Christianity in British society. I would also defend the, the role and participation of all religions in British society. So are you concerned, um, I mean, we could split hairs about the terminology, but the fact of the matter is there are more people in this country now that are not Christian, in fact, are not religious at all, actually, than there are people identifying as being Christian. Do you get concerned by the decline? Do you think it's something that people should be troubled by or not? Uh, I wouldn't use the word troubled. I'd say maybe yeah, like the Archbishop of York, that, that it's a challenge because, um, you know, religion, like any other movement, makes mistakes and organised religion, like organised politics, gets things wrong. But it can bring so much personal richness and such richness to things like education and community life as well that the church has just got to see it as an opportunity and not be down in the dumps about it, see it as an opportunity to talk to people about the gospel but talk to people about other things as well, like faith or about living in tolerance, or about making a contribution to your community. Because to me, the church is about, yes, it's about religious faith and prayer and devotion, but it's also about all these other things where religion can play a positive role in public life. Ben Habib, are you a religious man? Not, not, not very religious. I mean, I've been brought up surrounded by uh, really the C of E, my mother's Church of England. And... Um, I mean, I'd, I, I, I love... Peter's obviously got a very developed view on the subject, and I'd, 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 I'd welcome his views on this. But, I mean, I see Christianity as having been on the retreat in the United Kingdom for the last couple of hundred years. You know, we've gone from uh, a church that had massive wealth, massive influence, uh, massive political sway, to a church that slowly not withered on the on the vine. I mean, I think that that might be too strong a way to describe it, but certainly one that is less um, projecting. And nowadays, almost, you can believe in pretty much anything and be a member of the Church of England, as far as I can, I can figure. And I don't think people like the Archbishop of Canterbury do the Church of England many favours, because, you know, they, they almost talk down Christian values. You know, I've heard... I've heard um, I've heard Welby really say things that I think are outrageous like from a Christian perspective. Like what? Well, you know, he's, he's talked about um, the need for, um, uh, you know, the acceptance of values which are essentially not Christian. I don't want to be drawn on it on the programme, actually, Michelle, because I think, we're, we're, you know, we're getting into areas which are a bit problematic. And... People will know what I'm talking about, I think, where Welby... I, I, I know, but now I'm itching to say, but like what? Well, I, I just do. You, do you mind if I talk broadly around the subject rather than specifically on it? Because okay. I, you know, what I don't want to do is be accused of you know stirring things up. But people like Welby haven't done the Church of England any favours, and I, and so I've seen Christianity on the retreat. And for me, not being uh, you know a sort of ardent religionist, if you like, for me the more important thing is the retreat and the values that Christianity has left with this country, which again, I think, are on the retreat and indeed under attack. And so I would see those values, uh, you know, tolerance, liberalism, acceptance, all of those being actually used against the nation. And one area, we're coming back to your question where I think I can express a view, is with the way Welby supported BLM, supports BLM, which is, 
you know, I, I, you might not see this as a religious point, but this is the championing of a particular ethnic minority, in this case black, at the exclusion of other ethnic um, uh, backgrounds, principally white. And that, to me, is a wholly unchristian um, promotion. You know, all people, I believe, correct me if you think I'm wrong, Peter, in Christianity, are born equal. And so I see the politicization of the church by people like Welby and the preparedness to accept these kinds of views as actually part of the retreat of Christianity. And w what I fear more than the numbers that you've just thrown out this evening is that the values of the nation and what we grew up to take for granted, uh, uh, you know, they're being undermined. Fantastic values. Um, you know, I see that as a much bigger threat. What